Hello, and welcome to this next video. This will be for the chapter 12 assignment, problem number 3. There's only three problems, so let's go ahead and do the th third one. Problems 1, 2, and 3 are all about analysis, variance, and post hoc testing. Um, so 3 is pretty much representative of 1 and 2. So we'll go ahead and do 3. It's nothing exciting about 3, but then there's nothing exciting about 1 or 2 either. So let's move on. So there's the data. And we need to calculate the test statistic or look up at the output for the test statistic. Here's the test table. The test statistic is an F test statistic. It's 5.78. So the test statistic, 5.78. The p-value, F statistic is 5.78 p-value is 0 0.011. That's only three decimal places. They want it to four decimal places. Hmm. Well, luckily, somebody thought ahead and created this uh, Excel worksheet. And so here's the F statistic. It's the ANOVA table. p-value is 0 0.0115. So 0 0.0115. At the alpha equals 0.05 significance level, what's the conclusion? Well, since the p-value is less than alpha, we reject the null hypothesis. You've heard those that, that phrase many, many times, p-value less than alpha, therefore we reject the null hypothesis. That's always going to be true. Now the next part, what is the two-key simultaneous 95% confidence interval for the following? For the difference between Coke Classic and New Coke. So two key multiple ranges, Coke Classic minus New Cl Coke Classic minus New Coke. All right, that's going to be these numbers. So the lower is 7.982. Upper is 68.018. So we're 95% confident that the true difference, I actually don't know what we're measuring here. Three months of introduct negative marketing research compared to the sales. Um, Okay, so these are sales. So we're 95% confident that Coke Classic minus New Coke in terms of sales, the average is somewhere between, in the population the average is, somewhere between, say, 8 and 68. In other words, we're 95% confident, at least, that Coke Classic sold more than New Coke because Coke Classic minus New Coke is positive. Okay, Coke Classic and Pepsi. That'll be the next row. Negative 0.218 and 59.818. So we're 95% confident that the average for Coke Classic minus the average for Pepsi, and again, those are in the population, is between these two numbers, negative 0.218 and 59.818. Well, zero is a part of this confidence interval. So in this case, we're going to have to conclude that we did not detect a difference in average sales between these two products. That's kind of important. Since zero is in the confidence interval, we did not detect a difference in the average sales between these two products. OK, now New Coke minus Pepsi. It's the next row. 38218 to 21.818. So we're 95% confident that the true difference in the average sales for New Coke versus Pepsi is somewhere between negative 38 and 21. Notice zero is a part of this. Therefore, we were not able to detect a difference in the average sales between New Coke and Pepsi. We almost were able to detect it between Coke Classic and Pepsi. So close. Maybe taking a little bit more data will make the confidence interval smaller because sample size also affects the width of the confidence interval. And if we make the confidence interval shorter, all things being equal, we will therefore will be able to detect a difference between the sales, average sales of Coke Classic and Pepsi. But what's really important for those buying Coca-Cola stock is that the difference between Coke Classic and New Coke in average sales is positive and very positive which means Coke Classic on in general outsold New Coke, which means get rid of New Coke, which is actually what Coca-Cola did uh, in 1987, or a little bit later than that. So this is 
problem number three, or question three, from the chapter 12 assignment. It's all about interpreting the results. And since I gave you the tables, all the information for problem one, for problem two, and problem three, all you need to do is figure out how to interpret that information. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care of yourself. I'm here for you.